Hello, thanks for joining me for another video beer review then. So another beer from Germany and from the Hacker Shore and it's their Munich Gold. So Munich Gold then it's a Dortmunder Stroke Export Lager and it's coming in at 5.5% ABV. Check that out. Pretty cool. So yeah. Um, another beer I've never had before, a classic. Um, um, it's actually my third review, I think, from these guys in the last few days. So, um, yeah, it's one of them swing top bottles. So, yeah, what we the experience we had last time on these, it just went absolutely everywhere. Um, obviously, it got shaken up a bit in transit. So, um, so yeah, um, so Hacker Porsche, uh, I'm probably butchering the the second part of the uh, the name up but um, so I say it's a Munich lager uh, uh, filtered traditional beer ingredients then are water malted barley hops um, we'll try and find some more information out but they're out of uh, Munich in, in Bavaria southern Germany so this is a nice 500 ml bottle really kind of uh, cool there um, this was uh, bottled on the 2nd of July of 2020 best before the 2nd of April of 2021 so I'm expecting this to go everywhere so before I actually uh, crack the actual bottle um, I'm going to put that over my lap on my legs there and then it doesn't matter so much so I love the old swing top bowls, so let's give this a try. Ready? Cover your ears. So that's cool. Um, and it didn't go everywhere. So, very cool indeed. I love that. Absolutely awesome. So, let's get the old straight pint glass. Nothing crazy here with this one. So, uh, but yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to this one. So, as you can see, it's filtered, like it said, on the bottle. Wow, that looks really quality lager. Stop it there. Oh, look at that. Cristal. And I'm getting aromas already. Really amber, like a bready note. One figure, pure white head. Lovely carbonation streams coming through. The beer, as you can see me through it, with a probably a better looking face than normal. Um, but yeah, looks great in the glass. Um, crystal clear. So, head dissipated to a half a finger. Um, still really competitively uh, tightly packed bubbles then on this one. Uh, but yeah, looks really inviting. Um, kind of a, a light golden colour. Nothing crazy, but lager-esque in colour. Um, so let's give it a little swirl and a, a proper sniff then. Wow. It's got a lovely, it's almost like, um, it reminds me of dried rice. Um, I know it hasn't got rice in it, but get my old nostrils working properly. Yeah, light lemon notes, very kind of um, a, a slight kind of mostly buttercup, um, honeydew kind of aroma. Very light, very kind of fluffy, subtle. White bread crust. Um, Very subtle, but very, a very kind of uh, clean aroma. It's kind of going into that kind of flavour profile. It's going to be crisp, crisp, clean, refreshing. And you get you're kind of getting that on the aroma a little bit. You kind of marry up these kind of flavour profiles with the taste, or you try to. Well, I do anyway. See so how it goes then. Um, 
that's my impressions on the aroma so we're going for the taste cheers oh I've heard some great things about this beer Very, very crisp. Very crisp, very clean. There is a very kind of slight, I say very slight, doesn't kind of make sense. There's, there, there, there is a slight kind of oily substance to the hot profile in this beer, but still retains that classic kind of luck. German lager profile, very lemony, um, very. Th th there is a lovely kind of um, malt base to the beer. I think that's one of the things that sets it apart. And these, what I've had so far from these German lagers apart, is they've got a decent kind of foundation to work off, which you don't get from traditional lagers. There's a very much more of a rounded kind of approach to the style. That was so good. And I never thought I'd actually appreciate lagers. Um, like I have done in the last, as I've said before, many, many reviews. The last six months or so. I'm really appreciating a quality lager and it's great to try some of these classic beers like this one that I've never had before which is a travesty to a, to a degree so my whole experience I'm glad that my whole experience of these classic German beers is being captured on film because I, I should have had these beers before but I just haven't so so it's an experience for me as it is for anyone watching so and that's why I put it out there I mean you, you get these hazy short kind of like uh, period beers one-offs and I love them um, we had a conversation about this earlier on, on a, um, a recent Good Beer Live it's really nice to come back to proper traditional beers that and you, where, where your taste buds are almost crying out for traditional and and this is just fits the bill perfectly look at the color of that and the quality in it it's just great summertime obviously late summer where i'm recording this sort of where are we now 22nd of uh, august of 2020 mm. It's just so damn good. There's a little bit of kind of white pepper spice, just but they're all very kind of like that. I'm finding perhaps they're not all like it, but the ones I've had so far are very, very similar in that regard. A very sharp quality, the water quality almost. The water quality is really playing a part, I feel. Um, not being a brewer, but what a lovely beer. Awesome stuff. Um, we'll give it one more taste and we'll give it a rating, I think. Ooh. Cracking stuff. It really is easy drinking. No hint of the ABV. Is it 5.5? It's 15 IBUs. Not that it makes a difference. It's not a bitter beer. It's a very well-rounded, easy drinking malt base to a degree but then not in that kind of oh it's too malty kind of a bracket um it's there for a purpose and that's balance wonderful stuff for me then uh, um a rating on this um i'm gonna give this a seven and a half out of ten 
Um, so that's a 3.75 on the untapped scale. Over to untap then, this has had 58,795 total check-ins on untapped. It's had 501 in the last 30 days, so I don't know, if, you know we're, we're getting into that kind of late summer, um, early autumn kind of uh, um, time period at the time of recording. So it's had 44,108 total ratings of this beer then, um, out of them 58.7 thousand check-ins. And it's coming in at 3.5. So I'm giving it a construct well, I'm giving it a bit more than that. It's a seven and a half for me. But yes, yeah, seven out of that many people is like is a good sign. It's it's a half decent beer. I'm really enjoying it. Um it's really actually great to uh, to try it. So let me know if I've had it before. Hacker, Porsche, their uh, Munich Gold or Munchen Gold, whatever you want to call it, 5.5% uh, uh, Dormunter export beer. So um, if you haven't checked him out, please do check out uh, Peter from The Clueless Drinker, my good good friend, um, lived in Germany for quite a few years, he's got lots of, um, I don't know if, you, I'm assuming he's reviewed this, so uh, um, check out his playlist. If I remember, I'll put his playlist down below it'll be considerably more than mine so um, if not just just go onto his channel and check out his playlist for for German beers so it's definitely worth a watch anyway thanks for watching I really do appreciate it um, and then any anyone who's new um, please just consider subscribing no obligation I you know if you got this far and watched and you're not subscribed then you, you know you're potentially just do it I um, appreciate it, give us a thumbs up on the way out, um, it's always cool for, for myself and the channel, um, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers. Um.